Uh, you guys, I'm, uh, I'm sick of hearing about people's obscure tastes. Uh, someone's always trying to tell me about this new band they're into from some weird country, and it's like, I get it, you're proud of your obscure tastes. But they're not that obscure. They're still music. <laughs> you ever hear about some band, like, yeah, they, uh, they record tapes of Dolphins in Love, <laughs> and then release CDs of what it sounds like when they burn those tapes. <laughs> so what I've started doing whenever anyone comes to me with this attitude is I make up fake tastes that are just way out there in order to start like a hipster arms race. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you're into the band whose symbol is just a uh, backwards eight? That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've been into this one side project lately where uh, the drummer from Emerson Lake and Palmer taps out Danish fairy tales in Morse code. <laughs> uh, while his brother alternates between screaming and playing hot cross buns on the recorder. <laughs> hard to find. Their band name is just a texture. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you think you're allergic to gluten, so you're doing the paleo diet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I just did a similar thing, just decided to go a few hundred thousand years further back in history. Uh, I only eat things digestible by unicellular organisms. Uh, my breakfast this morning was just a slurry of amino acids. <laughs> oh, you get, uh, you get all your food at a, uh, uh, people's food co-op. That's pretty cool. Uh, I go to this farmer's market where currency has no value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they use the honor system. Uh, you have to promise them that you'll come back next week with a poem. <laughs> leaves of a plant that you can only find in the Gaza Strip, and uh, it tastes like chamomile mixed with gasoline, and it is a moderate neurotoxin. <laughs> and then the, the person that I say that to will come back and be like, yeah, I used to drink things. <laughs> Pretty much moved on to inhaling vapors. <laughs> the circle is complete! Um, so I was listening to the uh, national anthem the other day, uh, like before a sporting event, not just on my iPod. <laughs> I don't think anyone does that. Um, and I, I noticed that uh, it has the word spangled in the title. And you don't really hear that word anywhere else. Spangled. Like, I wouldn't tell people to come to this show, like, oh, come on down to the comedy room. It is spangled with great comedians. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good title, though, The Star Spangled Banner. It's a lot better than the title of Ukraine's national anthem. Uh, and this is true, Ukraine's national anthem is called, uh, Ukraine has not yet perished. <laughs> Just uh, exhibiting more of that typical Ukrainian optimism. <laughs> they only called it that because Bon Jovi wouldn't give up the rights to living on a prayer. <laughs> there's another. Uh, there's another funny line in uh, in our uh, national anthem where it goes, uh, "The rocket's red glare." the bombs bursting in air. Which tells me that the British are doing just an awful job of bombing the place. In air, you want them to burst on the ground next to the people in buildings and such. I guess they need to invest in some longer wicks 
That seems like a simple solution. <laughs> no wonder Francis Scott Key had time to write a song. He's <laughs> just like, ah, oh, this, this battle's going nowhere. Uh, good thing I brought my piano to war. <laughs> He's taking shots at the British, though. He's like, he could have been like a little bit heavier about it, you know? Just, we're gonna call it Star Spangled Banner, or maybe we'll call it Hey Brit Soccer Sucks. <laughs> uh, but you couldn't, you couldn't write a song during a war nowadays, like if the Navy SEALs run up the steps of the compound, you know, kick down the door, and there's Osama Bin Laden just jamming with his band. <laughs> Hamid, how many times must I tell you? Is verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, out! <laughs> we are never going to win Jihad of the Vans! <laughs> uh, in, uh, in that situation, Osama Bin Laden uh, is in a jam band. And... The name of that band is either... Uh, Osami and the Swamis. Uh, 72 virgins with a Z. Or Karan Karan. 